farm. It has to be in your heart. It's not just work, it's got to be in you. And you have to love the highs and you got to deal with the lows. We're the Anglots. My name is Loretta Anglot. This is my son, Luke, and my husband, Norman. And we farm south of Momart, five miles, an hour east of Regina, Saskatchewan. We farm about 3,000 acres, canola, durum, soybeans this year. I love every morning when I have a coffee and I look out, I just see wide open space and, and I know I don't want to go anywhere else. In the mornings, we like to go outside and have a coffee on the deck and discuss what we're doing for the day. Oh, pretty good day. What are we doing today, Luke? Maybe spray a bit. I guess we should, eh? Get going on that. The, looks like the Durham's getting close. We'll have to walk out there, take a look. Man, we'll get the sprayer out and fill her up. And once I get going, you can go take care of the water truck and fill it up. And then we'll carry on with that. Take the horse home, Mom? All right, we'll go for a little ride while you guys are doing the spraying. Luke and I probably go take a look at the field here right now and make sure it's right. I looked the other day and it wasn't quite ready. Let's see what the heat, how the heat brought it on. Okay. Bye. Okay, talk to you later. Yep. Yeah. First thing Luke and I are gonna do, we're gonna head out into the Durham field. What we're looking for is to see what weeds we have to do a pre-harvest control of the weeds for next year. I have to look at that kosher here right now, I guess, and see there's some on the hilltop. And then we'll go over and look in the low spot. We noticed probably three perennial weeds out there that we really have to get. We're seeing kosher, south thistle, and we're seeing a round leaf mellow. Look at this patch of south thistle. That's a difficult weed. They're linked by the roots, suck a lot of moisture. This is a perennial. Perennials live, they can live over winter and then they're back next spring sucking moisture before the crop even gets planted. So we gotta get rid of them. We basically wanna control the perennials before they get too big and, and get out of control. Okay, well, let's go get the sprayer out. Come on, Briggs! There we go. Let's go for a little ride. When we have some downtime, I myself have horses. I've always had horses. I think I got my first horse when I was eight years old and have had horses ever since. All right, let's go. When I go riding, it's just me and my dogs and my horse. It's my happy place. Today, we're getting ready to do weed control for next year. Hey, let's get that hose hooked up. We're running a meter an acre here. The truck holds enough water for us to spray 500 acres is where we're at. It's just a one hookup. It's very clean. Start spraying. Luke's been spraying a few acres here and there, and I, he probably could do it on his own, I guess. Now I can sit back pretty soon and watch him spray. It's kind of nice. Can't wait for him to take over. It's really exciting to see Luke taking over more responsibility. If he works as hard as Grandma, he'll have it made, right? Yeah. <laughs> farming has come so far in my generation, it's amazing. When we started farming, I milked cows by hand, and we had two combines going, two old yellow combines. I thought, oh my God, how much luckier could we be? We're richer now and happier than anyone <laughs> should be. <laughs> how does the old song go? I got water in my well and all the food I need to eat. <laughs> yeah. You can just wait probably there too. I'll just pull it out quick. Okay. What are you hauling? Soybeans. Soybeans, okay. Yeah. Dad said there's 300 bushels in the bin. Okay. 
You want to dive? No. <laughs> These ones are tough to get under. Down, down. Okay. Good. Okay, get ready to turn this switch you on. You do it. You don't know, just turn it on. Yo. Yeah. Can we win? No. no. Where are you going with this? Probably to Weyburn. Weyburn? So I think that's what Dad said anyway. Don't run that hopper over because Grandma's not helping you clean up. That's why we got the shovel. <laughs> Loretta and I, we've done this for 36 years. It's not real work when you en enjoy what you're doing. Everybody hopes their kids will take over the family farm. You don't ever want it to end. I think right now we're gonna push the kids to go take some ag schooling. And now Loretta and I, we're looking towards retirement. Luke will be done school and he can go work for a while. If he wants to come back, the option to come back and take the farm over is always going to be there. Land is something we'll probably never sell. I knew that I wanted to be a farmer and be my own boss. It's a great life. I just love it. <laughs>